Welcome, folks, to That's My Streamer, the game show on Twitch, the live game show on Twitch, where your favorite streamers compete for fabulous prizes. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. There's no prizes. The prize is me getting to hang out with yours truly. Thank you so much for coming out here tonight. You know, this is our virgin voyage, our pilot, and uh, I'm really grateful to everybody who came out to help out with this tonight. Everybody here helping out with this, everybody at home watching, I just want you to know from the bottom of my black corrupted heart, it means so much to me that you guys are supporting me on this, you know, this this new endeavor, this new journey. We're smashing the champagne bottle, so to speak. We're, we're popping the, the cherry and all that, you know. Uh, it's a big ceremony, pomp and, pomp and circumstance. But you know who else we have to thank? Our beautiful contestants, our three gorgeous, lovely contestants who came out here to help me do this today to get us started, kick this thing off right. Look at them, aren't they gorgeous? First of all, my friend, the love of my life, in a platonic way, Frederick Knudsen. Everybody say hello to Fred. Hello, Hi, chat. Fred. And hello, friend Michael. I'm so happy to... Be okay, no, I'm not keeping this up the whole time. Hello, yeah, everyone. Gonna, like, get on my knees and beg you little not to do that tonight. I'm so grateful for you being here and doing this with me that I would even... You know, I would let you do it. Mike, <laughs> I love you enough to not do it tonight. So it all we works insist out. insist you do it the whole night. That's so cute. <laughs> so Let's move on to contestant number two, guys. You know him, you love him. His name is Simple Flips, but his flips- Hello. Well, they're quite complicated indeed. Thank you so much for doing this with me today, man. It really means a lot. Of course, thank you for the invite. Well, let's move on to our third beautiful contestant, Juniper Actius. Can we get a round of applause, those, those chatters clapping? Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Juniper. I'm just, what's up, what's up, what's up, buds? You're looking so good. You're lo you're looking so like, like fuzzy. Like, I feel like you're one of those moths that's got a lot of fuzz on you. I actually look like I'm flipped uh, horizontally. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're flipped. Is that a bad thing? She before you say, whatever. before you say being flipped is bad, be aware of who you're standing next to. Oh, he might take oh, it personally. Happy, happy, some to of those. Here, happy to be here. Happy to be taking, uh, the virginity of Jabroni Mike's <laughs> new, new thing. Yeah. I'm glad you finished that sentence. New, new <laughs> that could have been. I could have stopped. I thought about stopping. Yeah. Are you guys ready to play the game I'm that I devised? Ready. I'm ready to go. We've devised this game plan. meticulously. The plan is to win this game show and then ride the clout to stardom. Uh, I will be using my earnings for earnings for uh, orphans. I I'm gonna give it to the orphans. So. Oh, that is selfless. I, that's so that's know, the. So I had heard this. Who to, who to cheer for? Who to clap for? That's. I had mean. heard that like I don't know. You 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 like eat kids? Is that true? Where did that come from? <laughs> Whoa, hey, yeah. do you, uh, I, like no, you no, 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 there's, there's like, many what... conspiracies out there. Uh, yeah, what's going she, on with that? She already apologized for that by playing the ukulele on camera. Where did this, why am I saying she eats kids? What, the, why am I, that's so I bad. actually don't know, Mike. Where, why the yeah. f are you saying that? Just, she, she doesn't, she doesn't eat, eat kids. Fred made it up. Okay, we got three rounds of play. First one is, is trivia. Now for the first two mm. rounds of the game, we're gonna allow you to use lifelines. Let me explain how these lifelines work. They make use of our beautiful, lovely chat and their ability to propel their streamers to success. Now, if you guys came out here today to help your Oshi succeed or to even, even to sabotage your Oshi, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this. There are three lifelines. Each contestant will receive three lifelines. The first one is called One Guy. Say Fred says he wants to use his lifeline. We pull one random comment from the chat in that moment, and that becomes Fred's new answer. We call these back seats in this game. See, the theme is the That's streamer good. stuff. They're called back mm. seats, right? I forgot to mention that. The second one is called spam. If you use that lifeline, contestants, we're gonna record chat for 30 seconds. The single most said thing in the chat becomes your answer. It could be, you know, something useless, something sticky and white, which sometimes this chat likes to do that to me. You know, I'll say, hey man, let me get some help with this. I don't know what to do. Where do I go? How do I crawl on the box or whatever the moment may be? I'm looking for some backseat help in the game. And uh, they spam, here's your help right here. And they spam pants grab. Maybe your answer ends up being pants grab. That's the risk that you run if you use the lifeline. The third backseat, it's called no help you can just cancel out somebody else's backseat. So if Simple Flips wants to use one, you could see that he's gonna get the right answer from chat. You can just cancel it out. Juniper, say you don't want him to do that. Say, I'm gonna use my no help right now. I'm gonna use it right now. Cancel that shit out. He can no longer use that answer. You ruin his life. He's done, he's finished, he dies. Caveat though, if you use that backseat, you actually lose your other two. You guys ready to move on to our first trivia round? Let's go, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. This one's called, Um Actually. You will be given a statement that may or may not be true. True, buzz in to answer. 
If you're right, you get a point, and if you can correct a false statement, you're gonna get another point. But don't be wrong, otherwise you're gonna get nothing. And if you can't correct it, the other players will have an opportunity to steal that point by buzzing in when I tell you to, though. Don't just spam spamming that, you know, when I tell you to. But if you get that wrong, then you lose a point. So if you try to steal and you botch it, you're actually losing a point, okay? Let's start with the first question. The names of the five Great Lakes are Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. Is this true or false? Any Fred. I am going to say that these are all correct. Why do you think that? Because they are. I, re <laughs> I remember them being so. All right, so you think those are the names of the five lakes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Superior doesn't sound weird to you. Like, why would they call it that? Like, what's so great Lake about Superior it? Lake Superior is the only one that I'm most certain of. <laughs> Crazy. It's true, of course. Give him the point. Let's get a point for Fred <laughs> Knudsen up on the f board. He did it despite my best efforts to try to f come out of it. <laughs> Are you guys ready for question number two? There are four types of triangles in geometry. You got acute, obtuse, uh, isosceles, lean. Who was that? That was Juniper. That was, that was me. All right. So, Juni, do you feel like your audience, like, do, they, do you feel like they think you're stupid? Uh, yes. <laughs> they think I'm stupid as hell, boss. They think I'm stupid as... Mike. Spitball here. I think this is false because that's... I believe a right triangle is actually a thing that counts in geometry. There are five types. So you think that there's five types. So let's first give her the point because, because she said because she said false. But now you have a choice. You want to correct it. Because well, this is an additional point. Co correcting it, correcting it is an additional point. So you think there's actually five. I can't think of a sixth, sir. Right, so this is you saying, because you know if you f that up, we're taking that point away from you. That's how it works. I think there's five. You think there's five? That's your answer? I that's that's it? Five. Yeah. Yes, sir. Your chat might have been right, because it's not, it's, it's not, there's there's not five. All there's right, well, I'm, I'm selling the orphans <laughs> so <laughs> take her point away does anybody else want an opportunity to correct this question uh, me flips what do you got for me bud mathematically i don't think an acute or an obtuse triangle would work like if all of them are over 90 degrees i'm not quite sure how you're making that happen <laughs> but i believe there's only three types of triangles you, you believe there's only three types of triangles huh i think so flips you know you look great man since you lost all that weight oh, bud, we but go. i'm a little bit concerned that that some of that weight might have been brain cells because because this is so fucking wrong it's not even funny <laughs> man I, I gotta tell you that is give him a negative one take a point a he's going one he's going negative sip i love you but that's mega there's, no, there's wrong. six types of triangles Fred, do you want to try to correct this or do you want to share the same fate? I'm good. The truth is there are six types of triangles. Can you f believe what it? What are they? Why? Did we need six? I don't think so. No, we definitely didn't. What are the six types of triangles? I'm so curious Acute? now. I hunger for knowledge. <laughs> like like hunger, hunger for kids. Sorry, I couldn't, oh, couldn't help orphans. myself. <laughs> Acute, obtuse, isosceles, scalene. So those are all real. Uh, but then you right. also have then the right, right triangle, triangle. Juni. Okay. Juni right. The right triangle. But there's a sixth one. It's called equilateral. But there's a sixth one. Yeah. The equilateral. equilateral. Oh my god. Oh, no, yeah. I remember. Why didn't they? They're all sixty. Oh yeah. shit. Oh. Confirming the suspicions Wait, can you of a lot of chatters. The audience, what so they're stupid. all sixty means in the context of a triangle. They're all the Six. angle of, ev of the internal angle oh, of what? every You're saving every Mike. corner is sixty. Mike was never gonna answer that. You just saved him insane. <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I've know. got. I've I, got my boys back. I have another question here for you guys. Again, this is a history question. I know Fred's into history a little bit. Flips. I don't know if you are you are you a big history buff, man. I'm probably not buzzing in. Napoleon Bonaparte died in the battle. Battle of Waterloo in 1815. Is this true or false? You know, you could buzz in and then use it. I'm going, I'm going in, folks. I okay. don't think so. I think uh, he was banished to an island and, <laughs> and died of old age over there. You think he died of old? Maybe. He, I don't think he, he definitely didn't die in the Battle of Waterloo. I'll tell you that. You could give her the point because this, this is, this is false. Now, of course, you do get the option to try to correct the statement. Like, how did he, how did he actually die? Did you want to okay, go ahead and right. dump? I, I, did would you... I would like to correct my statement. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he died of dysentery. Y you're... It's the Oregon Trail out here? Is it... Yeah. He died in Michigan. <laughs> I think he died of dysentery, sir. Uh, he he did he didn't. So you could take her point from her. 
Now here's the thing. The other two, you guys can buzz in because you guys haven't used the lifeline. Yeah, good like, luck, You could buzz in. Right, right. And then be like, I'm going to use the lifeline if you want to do that. Flips? I'm going to use the lifeline. Yeah, so which one do you want to uh, use? No, the one he's guy? not because I'm going to use my no help. Oh, cool. Oh, well, F Fred, you know, again, that, that removes your lifelines, buddy. You get nothing. You can't use them in the future. You're, the rest of the game, you don't have any. You're cool with that? Wait, the the entire like all three rounds? I you know yeah, what? they're yeah. gone. Oh, you do that to I'm, him, oh, they're gone. I, I, I thought I thought it was I thought I thought they refreshed every round. Okay, never fair. mind. No, 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 never mind. I'm gonna trust one guy. <laughs> this is gonna probably take a minute. Let's see what the chat looks like right now, just by just out of curiosity. Oh wow, look at this. They are going crazy. So don't forget, a random comment is being pulled from from chat at the moment right now. Are you ready to hear your <laughs> your new answer? Yes, Flips, Napoleon your, your, Bonaparte died in the Battle of um, Waterloo. Flips, <laughs> your new answer comes compliments of Big Hoss Patriot, and it is the smiley face chat emoji. <laughs> which, of course, Napoleon is not what killed Napoleon. The depression. So you gotta take another point away from Simple Flips. He's now negative shame. two. Um, that is wild. It's okay, because we got more questions. We got more uh, more opportunities for you That's guys excellent. to redeem oh, yourselves. Yeah, I'm coming back. Question number four. Tungsten uses the symbol W on the periodic table. Is that true or false? Fred? I am going to say yes. That is correct, yeah. because I remember what the W on the periodic table stands for. It stands for Wolfram, which I believe is the old name for tungsten. Sort of like how lead is PB stands for, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah Mike, you know, I, you know, I have stream open on the side. Dude, who let this nerd in? Uh, oops. Got, yeah, keep got a licking carried me. Away maybe, there. maybe you, um, maybe you'll absorb some of the knowledge. I, I am going to say that, yes, this is correct. Well, that's a huge dub for Frederick, because it is, in fact, W! Let's yeah. get a point for Fred. Good shit, man. Question number five. The Titanic sunk in 1911. Is that true or false? You do. You do. Have I'm going to say this is true. You think that's true? I think that's true. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I, um, yeah. So it looks like simple flips. You want to steal? If that's not true, right? Then well, then 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 fix it. Fix the statement. Maybe it was a mistake to buzz in. We'll see soon. Uh, <laughs> you could use your other lifeline. You got you got two left. Oh, Are we starting to ever think? The question seems oh, you're confusing. Going, oh, you're going. Oh, you're going that route buzz. with it, huh? Maybe it was the sister. But she actually, buzz. Chat spam probably buzz. has this one. I don't I don't know what think means, but I think chat spam is very reliable. So you want to use the spam? Yeah, there's. I think there's a good shot. Like someone's gonna know that, and we're gonna. Start. Yeah, guys in chat. Use your uh, this opportunity to just spam what you think the correct statement is to this question. Go ahead and spam yeah. it. Whatever you think it is, go ahead I'm and put it in chat. Simple. The number one answer in the chat was 1912, which is the year the Titan Titanic sank. No Holy way it's 1912. Shit. You piece they of shit. Thank they, God. Did, they did it, man. They got you the point. Give Simple Flips Negative a point. Negative three was gonna kind of suck. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. No, we ain't going to <laughs> we ain't going to negative three town. Not yet, not yet. Guys, there's one more question in this round. Junie, now's your chance to catch up. The surrealist masterpiece, The Persistence of Memory, was painted by Pablo Picasso in 1931. True or false? No one knows. Junie? I know for a fact that this is mm -hmm. false. Oh however, I I I I am going to call uh, is that the name is on the tip of my tongue. I know this artist. I love this mm. artist. But Pablo it's not, Picasso. It's not That's Pablo right. Picasso. I, I, I'm a fan of their art. They do the spindly oh. elephants art. They, uh, they've they done all kinds of things. I'm going to call on spam. All right, let's get a spam for Junie. So she's saying it's false. So obviously do give her the point uh, for saying it's false because it is false. But now she oh, wants to try to correct it. Let's. So she wants to question. use her chat spam do to correct it. So. Let's see what the chat does. The doing year, for the next thirty seconds. Does the year have to be corrected as well if that's wrong? Maybe, but I'm not going to tell you that. Who in chat said Vivzy Pop? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give them ideas, please, God. Junie, I am pleased to announce that tip, that that name that was on the tip of your tongue was Salvador yep. Dali, and chat Salvador! pulled through for you. Give her the point. Yeah. My, my good. Saying Salazar. <laughs> What's a Salazar. Like Slytherin? Salazar, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys ready for the next round of trivia? This is another kind, yeah, of, right, right. kind of a trivia. This one's called, chat, is this real? You're gonna be given five 
article headlines, right? Four of them are real and one of them is made up. You tell me which one is fake news for a point. And here's how we're gonna do. We're gonna take turns for this one. So I'm gonna start with Simple Flips, fuck it. And then when Simple Flips, <laughs> if, if Simple Flips fucks it up, then you guys will, can buzz in for a chance to steal it, okay? But don't forget, if you fuck up the steal, you do lose the, you'd lose a point. Here are your five headlines, Flips. Number one, this South African gin is made from distilled elephant dung. Number two, Florida woman calls for Sugar Daddy Appreciation Day at board meeting. Number three, chicken wings advertised as boneless can have bones. Ohio Supreme Court decides. <laughs> Number four, youth pastor claims Pokemon made my son gay. Number five, Oscar Mayer Wienermobile flips onto its side after a crash along suburban Chicago Highway. Which one of these do you think is the is the one I wow. made up? Number four seems way too real. Can definitely see that happening. <laughs> My life's falling apart. It's Pokemon's fault. My family is estranged. No one will talk to me. Number hey man, four Pokemon has real. Pokemon has caused me a lot of problems in my life. All right? I think everybody here can say that. Mm. I think it's made probably half of us gay in some way or another. <laughs> That's got to be a real headline. It's, made, it's definitely made me consider some things. like Mike, you. did you decide not to let me take it first because you've already fucked with me with one of these? No comment. I'm going to pick two. It's probably one or two. I think you would go with two. I don't think you can invent number one. Simple flips. Uh, headline number two is real as hell. No. It's as re it's as real as the. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I I regret That's to so inform you that it is real. And you know what? I I, I gotta say, Fred, you want a chance to steal this? Yes. I am going to say. For, for future reference, please wait for me to give the, the signal. Otherwise, it gets a little confusing. But oh, go ahead. apologies. Oh, go ahead. Okay. It's okay. Apologies. It's okay. My bad. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have this one, champ. I am going to say that number five is the fake one. Right. So the I, Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. He's saying he he thinks it's fake because he he has he himself has driven it and it's a very reliable <laughs> automobile. What? Right. You it, cannot very, flip it. Yeah. You can't. Very you reliable. Cannot flip the it's got Wienermobile. Great handling right You've the transmission's the oiled mobile? it purrs no, like a no, beast oh. this thing there's no shot it turned over on the highway no shot <clears throat> 12 hot stroke dogs engine all of, hot dogs all over the highway right fred that happened take a point from him ah <sighs> damn it junie now that yeah. two of them are eliminated do you want to give it a shot you will if you are wrong you I'm... are going to lose a point though so I am going to give it a shot. I think number one is the fake headline. I don't think they're distilling elephant dung over there, personally. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? Because that's like that's like nasty, freaky shit. Like, come on, lock in. This product exists. That's it, a it real exists. headline. Okay, got it, got it. Ooh, all right, I'll take that hit, boss. Are you going? So we are you all going just to TwitchCon? Lost a point. Yeah, I'm going to TwitchCon. I'm gonna bring a bottle with me. We're gonna no, do shots. shots. Shots, no, shots, 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 shots. Do you guys want to do teach, the next teach the thing? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. For this one, we are gonna start with Junie. <laughs> yes, right? sir. Headline number one, giant phallus shaped iceberg floating in Conception Bay surprises residents of Dildo, Canada. Headline number two, oh. Florida woman tries to bring a four foot emotional support snake on a plane. <laughs> number three, Nintendo president Shuntaro Furukawa states he regrets Mario? Headline number four, <laughs> no kidding. King Charles III bestows royal title on rare golden goat breed. Or headline number five, <laughs> semen explosion at bull artificial insemination plant. Projectiles fly. Okay. This is a this is a good lineup. This is a good lineup, Mike. Mm. Here's the thing: uh, is I know that several of these are real. Um, oh! I'm not going to tell you which ones that I know smart. are real. Very but smart. I have very seen, smart. I have very so, smart. seen some of these in the wild. Yeah, very smart. Um, I'm going to say I I believe that number three uh, is is a false headline. I think it's just it's a little bit too bold. It's a little bit too too brash, you know? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, well, okay, so it says uh, Nintendo president. Why would, he, like... why would he regret Mario? That's his boy. More that's, like... his, that's his beautiful son. Mario belongs in the trash. I, I have Yeah, no, and I, I simply won't, I can't, <laughs> I, I, I simply won't believe that. I don't believe that Nintendo president Shintaro Furukawa regrets Mario. It's not like Mario is out on the streets doing, like selling heroin to kids. Like Mario is his son. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> 
That's his beautiful, beautiful son, and he has to love him, or else there's no reason for me to keep uh, living. Well, I okay. In, in 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 all fairness, I did not read any of these articles. All right, like I I read. I maybe I perused them or whatever. I, I got. You don't have them, to whatever. tell me that's a real article, but, aren't but like, you? Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything yet. I'm just saying, like, maybe it's the type of thing I'm imagining. He he meant like, yo, Mario's dominance allowed it made it it made it harder for us to oh, develop uh, yes. to look into other Vacuum. things because we were so worried about Mario and like it's Mario this, Mario that. We got to be focused on Mario all the time. You know, maybe it's like other some other IPs had suffered. Maybe IPs just you know languished in the shadow of Mario for all these decades. Okay. However, he didn't say any of that because that is the fake headline. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank Give you the everyone. Point. Thank you. Give her the <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell you that some of these are very real though. <laughs> the rest of them are real. Oh, I zoned in on it saying regrets in quotes, mm -hmm. like as opposed to regrets Mario in quotes. Well, that, that would have come <laughs> from like a gaming outlet probably. And you know, they're not like the most yeah. refined journalists on earth. <laughs> I'm going to say YouTuber really Frederick most... Newton is full of quote, regret. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to regret coming on the show because you're starting off the next headline. Oh, okay. yeah, good luck, regret. idiot. Fred, regret. here are your five headlines. Number one, boo, G-A-F. <laughs> French winery ages wine in old haunted castle. Number two, the Pope used the <laughs> F slur. The Vatican sort of apologizes. Number three. Snail slime for skincare has blown up on TikTok and dermatologists actually approve. Number four, pro soccer games suspended when fans rain fish cakes onto the field. And number five, can you become drunk without drinking alcohol? Here's how it could happen. What do you think, Fred? I'm in a similar boat as Junie, mm -hmm. where I know that some number of these are real. You've seen them before. Yes, or at the very least, I yeah. know that they're real. So you can eliminate some of them. Right, I, I, I can relatively, like with reasonable confidence, eliminate some of them. But that puts me still at a gamble. I'm gonna say it's number one, because you would make a terrible pun like this. You think so? Yes, you would. Like, whether you did or not, I am not entirely certain, but I know that you would. Well, Fred, Also, um, the word bougie is like a streamer word. It's a little insulting to me, man. Yeah? Yes, I. Why's that? Do you, 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 can't, you can't see. You were just talking about how journalists write dumb shit all the time. You can't see a headline like that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, mm -hmm. again, I am, I am saying this without complete confidence, mm -hmm. but there is a world in which you wrote that headline. You realize in the last one, it said, no kidding. And then man had a headline about a gulp. So how is this that? Yeah, I know, but that, that's that, that's a boomer pun though. Mm -hmm. That's a boomer pun. Like bo boomers love making like kidding puns about goats. Number yeah. one, like the bougie, that's like millennial humor. Yeah, I'm so f mad at you because that is the fake one. Oh, <laughs> right like, about everything. No hey, there are millennials. Right about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm punching the air crazy. with you. I'm pissed Fucking off. You shouldn't have done that. The soul. What the, hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Did you give him you a point? You know that I have known Mike for the better part of a yeah. decade, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy. Oh, I gotta wake up a little bit earlier in the morning to guess like Fred these days, I guess. <laughs> hey, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sh All right, so this brings us to the end of the trivia segment. Fred Knudsen with the two points tied with Junie, and unfortunately we got Simple Flips lagging in the back with the negative one point. Moving into our oh, next boy. segment. This is actually a bonus round. It's our first bonus round of the game. Hear me out. Now this one's a lot of fun, guys. I'm gonna give you a popular character or, or thing, and mm -hmm. you're gonna guess how many entries it has on the website rule34.xxx. Awesome. Okay. okay. You're gonna type your answer in your respective contestant channel, and whoever gets closest to the number, the real number, is gonna get a point. Your character is none other than Ridley from the Metroid series, that big oh. purple, big purple fella there. So I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds, uh, more, actually, more, awesome. more, about, more awesome. like more like 20. Is that 20 I have a or 30 okay. seconds? Actually, uh, go ahead, Flips. You're sure, sure, bud. Let, let's say not all of us peruse this website as frequently as you do. What's maybe the range Two. of guesses? Is it like tens of thousands or 10, 20? Flips, like, I, don't, I'm, I don't use the website either. 
Oh, okay, buddy. All right, uh, uh, follow up. Right, I'll just put it random number. I don't, I don't have a contestant channel. You, um, I think I'm pretty sure I don't. Did she not what get her role as contestant be? number three, guys? Five digit get... number. I've... You know, fl flips. You know, you know what it is. It's it's like um, I I, I don't I brought, okay. Realistically, I don't know. I, it depends on how popular the character is. Like that's really what that's really what the game is. Like how popular do the is, do you, you know, think the character? Oh, oh, is? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you ones. know right now that Fred knows those the answer, numbers. Like he... Right? Like I've I, I've I've looked. Like, I've done oh, this you. on stream for memes. Independent right, like research? how many hits is this? Yes, independent research. Okay. Uh -huh. The number all usually makes no f sense. Like, uh, Junie, just put your answer in the reg in the in the f regular. Oh no no no! It, ju it just popped up for me. Somebody did something. Ooh, looks like there was a little f -y wucky on our end. <laughs> a little a little f -y wucky, but I I I I've, I I I'm hearing the spirits for this one. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think I have some spiritual guidance for this one specifically. All right, mm -hmm. let's go through it, Fred. You thought that that big mm. purple hunk of man meat has 16,400 entries. Oh my god, I'm way oh, in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So you, so I mean, again, like I'm, I'm be real, man. I, I don't, I don't, again, mm -hmm. I don't use the site. I really don't. So I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know I, if that's a little bit. I don't either. I don't know it's, if that's. I, I think it's, I, I think that you get some in like the hundreds of thousands for certain characters. Like the ones. I, I think, I think that's the upper limit. I think that's the upper limit. I just don't think that many people use rule 64 anymore is the thing. Or 34. 30, rule 30, whatever. Rule <laughs> <laughs> 64 that one. the wrong hack. Yo, yeah, Simple right. Flips, that, that sounds like a one. sick Mario <laughs> mod. Yeah, no? I think I'm, I've yeah. probably streamed that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Fred with 16,400. So he, I think that's a high number. I think Fred believes that people are really thirsty. That's, that's for really Fred. high, Fred. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, is, it is a high number. It is a high number, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to bet that it is relatively high. Like, in retrospect, it's probably a bit too high, but mm -hmm. it's got two things. First, Ridley has star power, especially that's among true. furries, right? Like, <clears> like <throat> the, the, the so Ridley's so. going to have, like, guess, furry yeah. stylization on it. And two, it's from a well-beloved game franchise a well-loved okay. game franchise that's good, good logic good logic yeah that's the logic that you got to use otherwise you know I, I think i went a little high i think i went a little high but i'm gonna simple, i'll stick we'll, with it we'll, we'll 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 see we'll see maybe i'm, I'm not gonna reveal till we're done looking at everybody's simple flips you said 2000 which yeah. is a lot less than friends you think so you think maybe maybe for some ridley is like fundamentally unattractive to you what is it is it the tail i just um i don't really know what volume we're dealing with so this is a learning answer for me. Like I can use what I learn about the number of Ridley and probably guess out the other ones pretty accurately. This is okay. your one dollar. Okay, there aren't gonna be any more of these today though. This is the only uh, one. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's real quick look at, at, at Junie's. Mm -hmm. uh, Junie believes Ridley only has 360 entries. And, and I have an argument for this. My reasoning, okay. okay, for one, I do think that my answer is lowballing it lowballing yeah. it however Maybe. my Prepare two arguments are that i do think rule 32 is out of date no i don't think anybody <laughs> the uses wrong number. <laughs> i don't think anybody uses rule 34 anymore and i think the people okay. that do use it uh are usually consuming art <laughs> of, of, of female characters so i feel like the most places where ridley would be present in rule 34 art would be with like ship art with him and samus which i feel like they're probably is some amount of that. And Wait a minute. That's, that's all I thought. Why did I have it in my head that Ridley was a she? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a f purple dinosaur, man. I, it's I, called I, Ridley. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a girl sounding name. I, I, Ridley, I I, I'm, I, you know what it is? I think Ripley. Uh, yeah, yeah. From Alien, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Junie really, really low ball on it. I mean, I'm gonna assume you personally don't find Ridley attractive at, at 360. Uh, I don't know. He could use some more like soft boy energy for me. He could use a manicure. Let's start there. We'll start there, yeah. yeah. However, I think that we we do have somebody here who is super, super mega thirsty for Ridley. And the answer will surprise you. It's Simple Flips. Oh. What? Simple Flips. The I, number I was of, pretending pretty good, huh? Like I did The didn't number know. of entries are is 1144. You said 2000. Yeah. Right? Ooh. So like you've been you've been uh, you've been consuming some some of this. You you're probably you're playing innocent here. You're playing uh. like you're pr pretending you don't know what's going on. But I think you know the shape of his purple dong based on these results, bro. Yeah, uh, tell him, feel free to. Good. What happened? Um, I wouldn't say like I would never use my own supply. <laughs> Let's just say I've added five or six to the database or something. Let's just say perhaps 
pen on canvas. Yo, shout out to Frederick who thought there was 16,000 entries. I don't know. See, see, here's the thing. Like, who's who's thirstier? Is it Fre is it Fred for being like, oh yeah, I think there's this many of him because he's so hot, <laughs> or is it the, uh, Simple Flips who got basically really close to the number, right? Like, you don't know who's who's my, who's my, my dragon f tendencies might have biased me. <laughs> That's right, you're Maybe a dragon. A of course. Fred. Well known, infamous, it. well established dragon, f which he's not even like ashamed of it. Remember that? Remember that night chat? Mm -hmm. When he just came mm -hmm. in and was like talking about dragon, f and nobody even asked about dragon, f and he was just, that was f wild. <laughs> but I need in you any to case, know. simple flips, making it out of the negative with this crazy, I honestly, okay, jokes Good aside, job. I don't believe he knew anything about f Ridley porn, but, but he pulled <laughs> it out of his ass anyway. Look at that. Good. Are there any characters with six digit numbers on Rule 34? I ain't gonna look. Oh, Feel no. free to. Feel free to go look now. I have some numbers. I have oh, some okay. numbers for us. Let's sure, learn sure. together. Yeah, yeah. The Let's total learn. number of posts on rule34.xxx is 9,252,679. <laughs> I am going, like, I'm trying to think of a character that would have six Mario. digit Samus. posts. I actually, I, I, I was thinking. Sam, I, I was thinking like Princess Peach or something. Who's a character that would have that would potentially have six digit? Wait, if I search, okay, well, okay, I shouldn't have hit enter. Uh, <laughs> you're on, yeah. yeah, you fucked up, bro. Aha, uh -huh. the Mario. Hit alive and okay, enter. what the hell? Okay, the Mario series, like not Mario the character, but the yeah. Mario as the series has ninety seven thousand two hundred eighty three oh. entries. Holy. Mm. Shit. I would like to point out that Mario plus Rabbids has 691. <laughs> but how about we move on to our ah, next? Junie was right. Jun Junie gave a good answer. Yeah. Samus Aran from Metroid uh -huh. has 23,770 entries. Yeah. Easily into the five digits. So my 16,000 wasn't that far fetched. She's mine. Yeah, but. Man. Come on. I mean. Everybody knows. Yeah. Ever, ever since she took, people have been thirsting for her since she was eight bits. When it was revealed that she was a woman in a bikini and it was like something you, you could kind of like, you know, jack off to if you squinted, right? In like 19, mm -hmm. what, 1986? Mm -hmm. What was it? Probably later than that. Do you remember Eight. the, do you remember the comic where Samus was written as a man before they revealed that she was a woman? I, I actually and do like, remember that. He, yeah. he, like Samus was schmoozing up women. And so yeah. Samus is canonically like a raging lesbian. Good yeah, for her. Based. Based. Guys, are you ready to move on to our second I am segment ready to of the game? On. Now, yeah, I do have go. to give a caveat with this. This is essentially family feud. We had to basically modify a game that was meant for two people, well, not two people, two teams, into a game that was meant for three people. So it's gonna be a little bit weird, but we're still, again, we're iron, ironing it out and we're ironing it up, chat. So bear with us, please. Guys, this one is called Streamer Beef. All right. We asked 100 members of my Discord server the following question. Buzz in with your answer. And remember that for this round, you can still use your lifelines if you're struggling, guys. Here is your first survey question. And it's kind of wrapping around to something that got brought up a little bit earlier tonight. Name a Pokemon that you would be embarrassed to be seen with in public. Hmm. Anybody got one? Uh, Mine was first. Uh, was it sure was. First. It sure yeah. was. Metapod. Metapod. Oh, yep. why? Why Metapod? Why? Uh, one, it's, a, it's worthless. Mm -hmm. Worthless Pokemon. Not True. a good Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Not a good one to have on your team. Embarrassing okay. to be seen in with public. Okay, he sucks. Two, he sucks. Uh, is a little phallic looking. Um, yeah, and he might get hard in public. Widely known to be a he phallic might... looking. Yeah, it hardens. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Widely hard. known to be a phallic looking hard dildo Pokemon. You wouldn't want to be seen with that. Dildokimon. Sure. Would not want to answer. be seen with dildokimon Metapod. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, if it's the number one answer, you're mm -hmm. going to get the choice to pass or play. If it's not the number one answer, then 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 you two get a chance to buzz in. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Uh, show me Metapod. <laughs> Metapod is unfortunately Fuck. not up there. It's that not is on so, the board at all. That is, there is no Metapod on the board, unfortunately. Wow. So yeah, at this time, Fred flips. If you want to buzz in and try to try to. No. We, flips. We, we, we already buzzed, but um, yeah, we we both did. Yeah, but I know. But it was, who got, we who got right. surveyed? We were, did you announce that? 
This is your chat that got sent This is my Discord server. Yeah, these are homegrown jabroni mic chat toids. Okay. Answering this question, buddy. I'm leaning on culture to have all chosen cum. I mean, muck. Muck? Oh, muck, because cum, he's a big slimy thing. He's gooey, he's sticky, right? your Discord probably would love to be seen with him. No offense, but that's my guess anyway. All right, show me muck. Don't take it. No muck. Come down here with me into hell. No muck. All right, any other guess? I think we're going we're going to let Fred give it a shot now. Fred, you mm-hmm. want to take a crack at this? Yes. Okay, I have an answer. I have an immediate answer in mind. Mike I know you have a bunch of furries in your audience. I no. am going to say, I no. am going to say, no way. Lucario is the Pokemon you would be embarrassed to be seen with in public because everyone's going to think that you're fucking it. Dude, I wouldn't be embarrassed to see you. Show me Lucario. <laughs> that makes sense. You know I'm right there. Number yeah. Number, uh, number five answer, Lucario. Very cool. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's like it's like announcing full throated and deep throated that you're a furry. <laughs> All right. Oh if God. this is how we're gonna be playing this, I'm missing. A, can you tell someone when they're coming on your show that they need furry nuance and stuff to like understand half of what's going on? Just, I would have researched. <laughs> I would have studied. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal. Fred, we're going to give you chance. We're going to, we're going to let you now, since you were the only one who got an answer. Now you could just keep, you could just keep going. Okay. Do you have another, right. another, another, uh, Pokemon that you want to think that maybe, maybe, maybe you'd be embarrassed yes. to be seen with in public for some reason. Yes. One reason He's going to steamroll us. We have to I, stop. He, okay. could, he could steamroll. He has three chances now. I'll stop. Okay. Along, along the, along these same lines, I am going like for the same rationale. I'm going to say Incineroar. You see that? So Pokemon these, this is just going to be next to you. Every, everyone knows that you are, you are, uh, um, who, who was it? Who was it that, uh, that said, like, I have never, like, I do not fuck my cat. I have never fucked my cat. Shane Dawson. Uh, Shane Why Dawson. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone knows you're Shane yeah, Dawson in that, that Pokemon. We are right now, guys. I want to know we're getting a list of all the Pokemon that Fred thinks are hot. That's what, that's what's happening right I now. Know. Oh. I know. I know. That's why he's going to steamroll us. <laughs> like, there, like, there's nothing I can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, you show me Incineroar. This is. Like, 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 you know how in a fighting game, just one person ends up with like a minute oh. and a half long combo? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, huge. Maybe not. No, 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 I got, I got, I still got this. I still got this. I am going to say the Pokemon who, in terms of human and Pokemon compatibility, <laughs> is, is the most compatible. I will say Vaporeon for, for the same reason. Do we have Vaporeon on the board? We do. There we go. That's good. That's we good. We do. Mm. I'm deeply and disappointed in you, one. Fred, okay? I just want you mm-hmm. to know that. I think you have two more guesses. Do you want yeah, to I, 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 I can get it wrong twice more. Uh, yeah, two, I... Two more. Okay, my reasoning for this is in the same vein. The next one I'm going to say is Gardevoir. Mm-hmm. However, okay. the difference is nobody thinks that you are getting it uh that nobody thinks you're getting it with gardevoir because like she's she's not giving you like you are gooning over over that pokemon so you're I'm... gooning over gardevoir and she is gardevoir yeah show me Gar- uh, gardevoir see if we got that there, there we go goon of war fred's gooning to gardevoir Ugh. i think for what fred was trying to say was like gardevoir will not put out for you yeah, she won't put no. out. Yeah, she's too high class for you. Fred, what the Like, f- anyone. Why do you hold her in such high esteem? I know what she likes. <laughs> what the oh. f- is wrong with you? What? <laughs> do you want to keep keep going? I, yeah, you have I to know, keep going. Keep I know going. how to please a high class woman like Gardevoir. Dear f- God. Now, I, I, I am going to take the Junie angle now, I think. Oh, son of a... I am going to say, like, there is a Pokemon who is literal garbage. Yeah. Trubbish. That's true. Yeah, that's that Pokemon true. is literally made of garbage. Yeah. That is a Pokemon you'd be embarrassed, you'd be embarrassed to be seen, seen with. Garbage boy. Because yeah, it's yeah, made yeah. of garbage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but don't underestimate it's how much the people- It's literal trash Pokemon. But don't underestimate how much the people who watch this content love garbage. True. Well- All right, so he's he wants, show me Trubbish! Damn it. No Trubbish. All right, you got one more uh, wrong guess. You know you can use the lifeline if you still have it. You do. I think you do. You know what? Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, of course. I 
am going to use my lifeline. I am going to use. I, I'm going to take a random chatter's answer. Wishbone's giving me one guy. No help thingy. I'm, for I'm, I'm going sure, for sure. Get that. Really? What else you want to use that now, it? Simple Flips? Oh, hell yeah. That guy tried to do yeah, it to me earlier. Backed yeah. out. All right, fing obliterated. And by the way, I, he doesn't, he used the third. He doesn't have any to lose. The Simple Flips is riding naked now. He's got nothing to fing lose. Fred, no clothes. You lost, you just lost the lifeline. You can't use it. Do you want to use the other I one? I don't you have get another chat. One. You have the other one. Okay. You have the, the other lifeline. Oh, okay. I, in, the spam in that lifeline. Case, I that? will use it. I, I will use, use spam. I will no use help. spam. So chat, what you're gonna do, you're gonna put a Pokemon that you would be embarrassed to be seen with in public. Even though, you know, most of you did participate in, the, in these polls. But go ahead and, and, and spam the chat. Let's take a look at the chat, see what it looks like at the moment. Yeah, let's take a look at that. And we have that. Oh, they're picking ones that I never would have. Like, you yeah, know, that's they, why they you have got some your, that's really why good got, ones. That's why you got your lifelines, baby. That's Stop so writing difficult. Vivzy Pop. It's not, a, it's not a Pokemon. It's not a Pokemon. <laughs> Mr. Fat Nuts Nudsen continuing to go down the rabbit hole here with La Pony. No! Show me La Pony. La Pony, okay. He's no! Yeah. The yeah. Boy, La Pony, number one answer. I do okay. have another answer. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, champ. I feel like this one's pretty self explanatory. Mr. Mime. Like, everyone knows that Ash's mom is getting freaky with Mr. Mime, right? Okay. You know what I, I actually heard about Mr. Mime recently? And this was disturbing, upsetting, and revolting. Um, Mr. Yeah. Mime's fingertips have the ability to vibrate very rapidly. <laughs> this is the way, what? like, this is the canon explanation for how Mr. Mime can create, like, those screens. Yeah, that Pokemon. reflect you and, know, reflect? like, yeah. mirror, yeah. Yeah. So he's got like Hitachi wands on his as for fingers. Oh my Truly God. a vile abomination of, of a creature, Mr. Mime. It's the happiest ending. Yeah. Show me Mr. Mime. Oh there my God, he's he sweeping the Hell, fucking board. Hell. Fred, you're doing fucking great. You're probably going to end up just giving the point to one of them, but let's see what happens next. Yeah. Show me Jinx. Let's see Jinx. Jinx. That was one of my... <laughs> <laughs> no! Holy <laughs> sh Yes. No, 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 no. Fred, earlier yeah. I asked you not to look at the chat during the, during the game. Yeah. And I feel like you're looking at the chat because you're seeing Vivzy pop in there, you know? So I'm wondering if you could stop doing that because... But if it was, it was up on the stream, right? Like, were we not supposed to have the, like, have it up at, like, were we not supposed to have the stream up Oh, at? that's true. I f***ed up. I don't know, I just was, close yeah, your eyes. I, don't look at that. Just close your okay. eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, to, to be clear, to be clear, I do not have like I I do not have stream open. Like I do I do not have chat open, right? Okay. Like I I All don't right. have the chat. I haven't been looking at the chat for All right. the answers. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. I, All right. I have the stream open. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. Hey. Okay. You got another we Pokemon for me, boss? <sighs> like, see, here's the problem. Now I'm exhausted. But it's the <laughs> seven and eight. It, it's the seventh and eighth answers. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I'm feeling pretty good about okay. how I've done. You've done great. And I'm and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna um. I am going to say, oh God, I am going to say for sim for similar reasons for the others, let's go with Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Like there's a whole subreddit called yeah. Girls Shaped Like Mewtwo. Yeah, Mewtwo's uh, a thicky. I want to be escorted thickie. around by Mewtwo personally. Mm -hmm. he yeah, he, like Mewtwo's got a handle, right? Like you can hold on. <laughs> yeah. He's got yeah, it on crazy. his neck. But yeah, that's true. Show me Mewtwo. Okay, you're f it's done. fine. That's fine. You that's fine. are done. Flips, Junie, you want to change the buzz in and steal yeah, this? Yes, I would. I, yeah. Ooh, the same frame? Uh, you actually, first. mine was the a little button. ahead. I heard Junie first. Uh, right, we're going to go with that then. We're going to go with Junie. Yep, yep, yep. I'd like to see Salazzle on the board. Oh, Ooh, f me. Spicy one. Show me Salazzle. Lazo, oh, yes. I know, surprising, surprising. That surprised that a surprising, lot of people. Actually. That is surprising, actually. A lot of yeah. people who were very surprised by that. We will uh, be giving the point to Fred. I, I I had one for fun that I only thought of after I uh, after I got the wrong one. Lick a tongue. I mean, like, oh. come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Look at what he do with that everything. tongue. I forgot about that one. Hanging out with those. Yeah. What's number? Uh, what's Damn. number seven? Let's see number seven. What is number I seven? I have no idea. Charizard. Really? Uh, Charizard. Yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't expect I'm a dragon. To... <laughs> oh yeah, how did you not get Charizard? Right. Yeah. What? These Discord members, they are they are lobotomites. They are drooling <laughs> they lobotomites. Are lobotomites. They are huffing jankum. They are. 
We had to ha remove half the answers for the poll because they were just typing cum repeatedly. To be fair, they <laughs> didn't know why we were doing this yet. But I think now that they know why we're giving them polls occasionally, they might maybe hopefully they give us better, better answers yeah. that make because more sense. Because the fact That's what I'm that Salazzle was not even in the top four, unbelievable. But we got another question. I'm going to put it up on the board real soon. And if you think you have an answer, I want you to buzz in. Here we go. Name an insect you wouldn't want to see on your penis. Fred, what do you got for me, man? A tarantula, a spider. Spider. A spider. Spoiter. Spoiter. Are we talking bugs or insects? Because you said insect and my mind went blank. I read Keep bug. in mind <laughs> what I okay. what I just said about my 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 Sure, 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 totally. Sure. True, true, true. All right. And that might answer your question, okay? But uh show me spider. There we Fred, go. That's the number one fing answer, despite not being an insect. Do you want to pass or play? It's <laughs> I your know choice. your chat. It, you, I'm gonna you, play. You, you can, I'm gonna play. You can pass. You want to play. I, I'm sick. I am going to play. I'm going to play. Good, Fred. Fred good, I, good, good. This, I have an answer, but I don't know the specific name. But then again, I don't think anyone who gave the answer would know the name either. Like they would have had a Wikipedia. Frederick, it. stop yapping and say it. He's reading chat. Okay, actually, that's not a bug. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, <laughs> you filibustering and reading chat. You He's are yapping so much. He's doing it. <laughs> answers, Fred, AI. answers. I am going to say an ant. All right, respect A venomous ant. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, yeah, you wouldn't want them going into that ant hole, man. No, mm -hmm. no, not that ant hole. Show me ant. There you go. Nice. Halfway through, I realized, wait a minute, the thing that swims into your pee hole is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Which might still be an answer, given was, given your I chat. I was thinking about that and didn't realize that it might be a fish, so I think you're onto something. I, I am going reason. to say a bee. A bee, you say? A bee. Bees on my penis. We have bee on the Don't board. call me a bee head. What? I, w I wonder if like Hornet is categorized differently. Who the f knows? Yes. Well, with that in mind, I am. Oh, wait, I just. What is wrong with me? I am going to say a horsefly. A Ooh, those horse are nasty leaf. things. Yeah. Nasty, nasty things. It's the one with like the green head that bites you, really hurts things. Like yeah, like, yeah. I've, I've been bitten by one. It is yeah. horrific. They like they hang they out on carve beaches, out right? a chunk. Um, like, the ones I like, I was I did it at like a Boy Scout camp. Like that's where I had to fight them off. Show me horsefly. Fred's not looking. Okay, good. you don't have any. You don't have any back seats left, right? We, they're not like no. Flight, I right? have we nothing. I have no back really seats. I got, I got no elped. Uh, you know what? I think that your chat would mistake a fish for an insect. I am gonna say the kandiru, the the the, <laughs> the pee the pee hole fish. <laughs> that's insane. I'm whipping that. Show one me out. kandiru. Show me a. F Fish. <laughs> all right. No all right. good. Okay, so at this time, the yeah. other contestants get a chance to maybe buzz in and steal. Uh, Juniper. Centipede. Centipede? Yep, centipede. You don't think moth is up there, right? No. Well, mm, we'll come back to that, maybe. Because you know you're, you are moth, so maybe. You're, I am a moth, but like the difference is that, that, the difference yeah. is that, <laughs> well, let's just say I won't be on this list. What kind of list would you be on? <laughs> Show me centipede. <laughs> Let's see centipede. <laughs> Good. <laughs> centipede right. is on the board. Okay, I think that static. Is she, does she? What, does she keep guessing? Static. Juniper gets the point. That's it. She just gets mm. it. Yeah, you just get the point now. Give her the point. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm going first. Yeah, I'm nuts. sorry. There's no way you're getting you all of them. Yeah, it's pretty. F all right. Well, we got Song a new. Ra we got. We got one more survey before we move on to the next round here. Name an insect you would want to see on your penis. <laughs> Jimmy, how many insects you would want to see on your penis? Moth. Show me moth. <laughs> Jimmy, I am so sorry. This must be devastating to your self esteem. It's devastating. Give it a flip. out this. <laughs> Give me a, give me, a, give me an insect you would want to see on your penis. Probably a ladybug. Probably <laughs> adorable. Because oh, they're like, cute. Full. Oh, 
Holy they're delightful. Fuck, yeah. yes. They eat the aphids off yes. your. Oh. Right? They eat the aphids. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, take your word for it. But uh, we got Ladybug on the board. Nice, we do. nice. We yeah. do have Ladybug flips. Good. You can Good pass job. a play. At um, this point. I don't think I'm confident. I can name seven different bugs that I want in that setting. I think I'll pass it. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so flips is gonna is gonna pass it. Wait, and Mike. I think we. He didn't. He didn't get the number one answer. So Fred can still attempt to get the number. Oh, one answer. Fred, do you want to try to get the number one answer? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. If if I can get a higher one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, then then you get the, then you get to fucking yeah yeah. You yeah, know I what? We were gonna. A like I said, I, I told you guys there. this was gonna be a. Bleh, moth was kind of not a there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a moth wasn't there. However, were I to be naked in a beautiful garden with a massive boner between my legs and a butterfly alighted onto my shaft. I would find that delightful. That would be butterfly. <laughs> like this. That'd be lovely. Oh, Fred, I don't. I think I have to cancel dinner. Show with me you butterfly. Later. Not, something came up. Yeah, my. Oh, holy shit! Yeah. It <laughs> just processed what you said. The the uh. So the butterfly is not the number one answer, static, but it is better than ladybug. Does he get to play? Yeah, he gets to player pass. Do you want to pass oh. or play, Fred? Oh, I'm passing. He's not doing. He doesn't want to do it. So you just basically made it easier, right? <laughs> what else? You get to choose who you want to pass to. I am going to pass it to Simple Flips. That's fucked up. Fred's like got it out for you tonight, man. That's fucking shit. That's okay. I got it out for him as well, but I don't know. Trivia. I'm giving you. I'm giving you a chance. Uh, well, someone probably I, I, is I, I, into I, I, that daddy can... long leg. I'm gonna go with spider. Like you I can go see with spider. Down. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, someone's gonna find a spider. That's positive, crazy. I feel like. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, show me spider. Uh, what? <laughs> <Number one. laughs> Dude, people love to talk about how daddy long legs be eating insects and other shit, so, you know. You got M Muffet, your neighbor from Undertale. In. You got the, actually the James and Yo, the Giant true. Peach There's spider. There's a lot of was... sexy spiders out there. Yeah, right. You do have to wonder how, when we polled what I, I think is the same people, they simultaneously decided that was the most and least likely thing they'd want on their <gasps> Good job, chat! Oh, yeah. I didn't even but anyway, <laughs> you want you, you could keep going at this at this um, time. Uh, is that right, yeah, Static? True. Or he, does he get the point? Oh wait, I he keeps going. Uh, probably yeah, a you bee. Do. Some people love bees. Minecraft bee. Now bee. Now keep in mind, bee didn't show up on the other list. Uh, but but uh, but show me bee. My next guess is wasp. <laughs> show me wasp. That's crazy. Uh, he's just <laughs> thinking that there was like one or two or three or four guys taking the surveys that were like really into wasps. So the person who gets it after me just has to get one correct and they win. I'm yeah. trying to make it as hard as possible for them is the idea. Yeah. I'm thinking too hard. This can't be based off of any logical merit. Yeah, no, I wouldn't use logic. Let's see if an ant is up there. Ants. Do we have ant on the board? Wow. Yeah, you're good. You're still up oh, there. Wow. You're still, yeah, you're still going. Keep in mind, Ant was on the other, again, Ant was on both of these. Yeah, so I might, I might as well guess Tick, because that was on the other one. Show me Some tick. people in your community are freaky. Uh, Damn Not that freaky. You know what I thought was bizarre? In the first survey, nobody said Mosquito. And I have, why is oh. Fred Dorseless? Oh. Why do you think? <laughs> but, uh, uh, at this point... Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Well, well, I mean, like, I think we now <laughs> are going to have a moment where if you would like to do it, you should do it. If you want to steal the point, you can now. It goes back to Fred because he passed. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh. I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. Fred, it okay. comes back to you because you chose to pass. Oh, uh, this is insane. We'll this, it, my face reflects my mood. Okay. It's very coarse. It's very... I, yeah, no, it it's a void in there. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. the you know face what? Ref reflects his frame rate. He's falling apart over here, man. Mm -hmm. I am going to. Okay, I don't. How about pill bug? Why not? I love those. How about yes. roly poly? Little baby like, isopod. Oh, what, what, a, what little a funny little, little fellow! Buddies. What a funny little isopod on my shaft. Do you call it a roly poly or a pill bug? I, I call them pill bugs. My family was called pill bugs. Love to see one of those on I my like... penis. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just rolling around, having a good yeah, time. Yeah, they're so cute. If you're cold, you they're cold. Put them <laughs> on your. Show me pill bug. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. So that means that simple flips is getting the point, unless I'm wrong again, Static. You're right. What the hell? Flips. I got a point. Wait, can flips? I? Can I, got a I point. ask? Good. Just, just for fun, it was snail up there. 
Show me snail. No. Oh, that sounds okay. Well, let's see an eight. Wow. Let's see. Let's see eight. What? I would like to see the rest. Yeah. Centipede. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh, You're trying. It's the same I know, one. I know. I know. I know. They're, they're idiots. They're 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 actual lobotomites. Five. That's okay. Now they know. Now they know what this is for. A mantis. Oh, a mantis. What? Beetle. A beetle. Oh. A okay. Beetle. Okay. Our second bonus round. Guys, this one is called on ban request. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Contestants, you are a cringe chat member who has been banned from uh, Jabroni Mike's Twitch channel. What do you say to get on banned? Also, allow me to tell you the reason that you were banned in this instance, guys. You were in chat and you called me a lol cow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and that, and that caused you to get banned. Okay. Now I will be awarding the point myself. Let's start with Fred. Fred, you want to get on banned? You called me a lol cow. Mm. Why why should I on ban you, man? Listen, man. I've I've just been on Twitter way too much and getting banned really really helped me realize that I am spending too much time on Twitter and that like where I really need to be is in your chat where I can learn from a distance ab uh, about uh, about other people and I, I can have a more wholesome wholesome integration with the internet. Also, I bet your cum tastes amazing, man. I just want you to know that. Okay. Um, it's not bad <laughs> by most accounts, but that's not, okay, okay, good, good, good request, good request. I'm gonna take it on, on, into consideration. I do like the idea where I, I so get somebody to spend less time on Twitter. That sounds good, that sounds mm -hmm. nice. Yep, yep. That was, um, that was my angle. I, it, it wasn't my best work, I'll admit, but. Yeah, no, no, you did, you did good. I thought you it was a decent good. angle. I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it in, under consideration. I'm gonna run it past the moderators. We'll see what, what, we, what, we, can, what we can do. Uh, simple mm -hmm. flips. Me next. Dear oh, Mr. Yeah. Jabroni Mike, I'm really sorry that I called you a low cow the other week. I okay. thought you were joking when you told everyone that you were going to pretend you had cancer in order to raise money. <laughs> now that I know that you were serious, I can see why you took the lol cow comment seriously as well. I've been a part of your community for a long time now and I thought it was a joke because you don't normally make jokes like this. Mm. With that said, can I please get a ban or an unban? I would have hit backspace there. All right, yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, being around so long, you'd think you would be able to tell like when I'm serious and when I'm not. I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused about one aspect of this though. Are you telling me that I have cancer? From an outside POV, like the viewers can't really tell. There's some occasional, it's like, a, is this a joke? Is this not a joke? That's kind of where I was at. I don't think unban requests are back and forth. They're not, <laughs> they're not, they're not. That was just because now I'm like, I'm having like a hypochondria moment now. Like I feel like maybe, <laughs> maybe you picked up on something like some kind of like symptom that I wasn't noticing or something. It's okay, I'm good, I'm fine. Thank you, I'm taking it under advisement. Junie, what, what are you gonna do to get on banned here? What are you gonna say? How are you gonna play hey, this? Hey man, uh, uh, I didn't know what lol cow meant. I thought it just meant internet comedian. Uh, also, I'm neurodivergent. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, everybody here is, so you're gonna have to, that's not, you know, <laughs> not really gonna help you, that's, that's, okay. Don't care, um, I'm getting sent. You thought it meant a good thing. Yeah. Well, I could see somebody, yeah, somebody a little bit, you know, a little bit not, not so versed in internet culture would think that a lol cow is like, oh yeah, he's, he's, he's a fun guy to hang around with, he's a fun guy. Yeah, like you milk he's, him for laughs, he's an internet. Yeah, you I milk like, him in, like, in a good yeah. way, you milk him in a good yeah. way. You milk him in a nice, Yeah, yeah, you milk him so good. You milk him nice, it's a nice, everybody has a good time. I'm going, I'm going Junie with this, I like that. Mm. I maybe you know we maybe deserve. maybe we, maybe maybe us lol cows need to take lol cow back. Maybe we need to redefine lol Sorry, cow. Sorry, did you say us into, lol cows? Uh, no, I didn't. Just you want to keep that point, right? <laughs> huh? Yeah. This no, is I'm fucking sure. wild. I didn't hear anything. I think Junie's was real. I I feel like a real mm. Twitch user has typed that probably verbatim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think Junie has typed it verbatim. I, I went for the realism angle, uh, personally. Uh, I guess it was pretty unrealistic of me to expect Mike to buy that he could make a positive change in someone's life. <laughs> <laughs> Getting banned again. <laughs> Maybe I should, should I, should I give it to, should I give it to, to Flips? I feel like Flips is, Flips's was so good. And people are gonna realize that it's like rigged if you give it to me. Oh, I can do whatever I want. Oh, I can just do. Yeah. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Let, let's let's make yeah, no like, mistake. Like, I'm the <laughs> kid, I'm the boss right now. Like like giving the last bonus round to flips when I was mathematically closer. 
<laughs> wait, yeah. were you? Yeah. <laughs> Technically, yes. No, because wait, 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 because it was eleven. It was eleven hundred and no, because now, now if you're saying it, now I'm getting concerned. When Chad said it, I was like, okay, shut up. But now you're saying it. <laughs> yeah. You're saying it. I'm saying it too. She was closer. I was just letting you cook, man. What the f? You didn't. What the f Why'd you let me cook, bro? You should have said something. You you were so confident. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm horrible at math. I failed okay. every you math class me have in my this life. One and then it'll be even. But it was eleven. F it was what was it? Eleven twenty-four. Yeah, in in three. What was it? What did I say? Three hundred sixty is closer to eleven twenty-four than two thousand. Yes, that is correct. Where you don't have yeah. to even do much math at all. You kind of just like eyeball it even. So now so you're just, rubbing it so in. What I'm saying is, let me have this one, and then we're even. Then it's done. Okay. Wait, this happened so long ago. Shouldn't Fred lose a point to sort of balance everything out? What? F you. Fred should lose like three points. It's at least. ideas. I don't know how to eat my fantasy. So. It, it was fucking two thousand. And if yeah. it was eleven, yeah. so she was she was closer. You want to know? So can I can I just be okay? Full, full disclosure about everything, right? You get it? When we were coming up with this. And when we were we, we were like planning this, me and my moderators are in a Discord together, and we're coming up with the concepts of these games and how this is gonna work. And they're like, "Oh, so should it be like, is it is it, is it like a Price is Right type thing? Like, is it the closest without getting without going over?" And I was like, "Nah, nah, it should just be who's ever's the closest." And they were like, "Um, Mike." We we kind of feel like like no offense, but we feel like you're not gonna be you're not good enough at math for that. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, F you. I was like, that, I was like, that's f silly. What do you mean? Of course I could. What? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not that. Okay, yeah, like I'm not great at math, but I'm not that bad. Surely I'll be able to figure out. And here we f are. So here, make sure. So Junie has the point. <clears throat> Let's make it even, you know? Let's just shake it out. I, I shake Flip's hand. Let's I shake fix Mike's it. hand. But does no that mean we have, we, we have to I take mean, the point from Simple Flip's though? Personally, I'm okay losing the point. It per it puts Mike in a harder position where he's trying to like, he's been trying to rig it from the beginning, let's be honest, but yeah. It so, does put I Mike in a harder how you... position, shakes your hand. If there's a, like I, if I f up, then you should just get the point. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's, f that's, that's on me, like f me, you know, like I f up. But true. Right, we're playing the game as it lies. I think that's how it should work. I think if I'm a dip, then the, the person should just get the point. So let's leave the points the way they are, and we're going to move on to the next segment, guys. The final segment, this thing is is wrapping mm. up. We are rapidly mm -hmm. approaching mm. the end of mm -hmm. the end of everything. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Okay, round three. Well, uh, contestants, your fate will be completely in the hands of our beautiful audience. Chat, you are going to be voting for which one of our contestants has the best responses to our challenges. And again, chatters, if you came out tonight to support or sabotage one of these fine folks, you're gonna have such a perfect opportunity to do that right now. This is Chat's moment. If you're here for Fred, represent. If you're here for Junie, represent. You're here for Flips, represent. Like this is your moment to let your your streamer get your full support. Or if you also wanna them over because you think that'd be really funny, this is also your opportunity to do that. You know I love you, right. Junfies. First one tonight, chat, we call this one dead air. As we all know, content creation is the art of pulling things out of your ass. In this round, we're gonna test that skill by asking you to give us a PowerPoint presentation with slides that you've never seen before. If you can impress the boardroom, the chat room, uh, with your presentation, then they just might award you with the point. If you guys have ever played that one Jackbox game with the, with the PowerPoint oh, presentation. Shit. I'm mm. so bad at that one. <laughs> let's start this one off with uh, Fred. Yeah, let's start with Fred. All right. Do you think, do you kind of understand <laughs> the concept here, buddy? Oh, yes. I, I have done this before in, in Jackbox. Sick. All right. Static, pull the cord. Let's give Fred his presentation. Everybody else, including me, will shut our yaps. Fred, impress us with your presentation, buddy. Let's go. Joomfies, flippers, owlets and chatoids. How many of you have eaten way too many Twinkies and gotten your bowels clogged up? Well, I want to give you the many different poop knives. That's what we're going for. Now, diet, changing your diet isn't going to be enough all of the time eating nice. The whole wheat bagels will not always cleanse everything out, but I have an idea for you. A couple of slides back, you saw those nice different shapes of wedges. They are shapes 
shaped specifically to reach and grab the sh in your asshole, like really reach up in there with our patented tooth technology, you can grab and pull. You are going to feel like a camel that's just evacuated its guts by the time you are done with our patented pullers. You are going to galaxy brain because your guts are going to be so happy and your guts are connected to your brain. Thank Sick. you. Good stuff. Can we get a round of applause for Fred? And it sounded like Good he job. was selling a a a f f fe feces extraction device. Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? That was what that was. Something yep. that pulls yep. the shit out when of your When food ass? isn't enough, so, you know those advertisements where they stick the pliable rod down and they come up with a big hunk of hair. It's like that for your shit. Billy That's Mays awful. here with the shit grabbers. You have stubborn shit up your asshole. Not anymore. We're gonna. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Fred, so much for that. Really fun stuff. Mm. Next up, Simple Flips. Are you ready for your presentation, champ? Of course. Been practicing all morning. Let's go. Dead air. Let it rip. Yeah, I appreciate a lot of you guys coming by. Um, about 50% of you answered the survey and you're dog owners. So it's pretty good that we got the focus group kind of centered in here. Our last group, we didn't have anyone knowing what was going on. So the conversation is whether or not you should ever allow your dog to be exposed to the sun. A lot of positive things coming from the sun. You think plants are kind of nutrients. But look what the sun is actually doing when you don't have the supportive things to go with it. You're looking at a drought. Do you want your dog to be experiencing these types of conditions? Absolutely not. This is what happens when other species are now interacting with the environment. There's heat waves coming that you cannot imagine. We're climbing up the steps. There's never been anything like it. Global warming, actually no more water ever again. There's a different way to be looking at the problem that you have. We have to leave. <laughs> and enter orbit. It's the only realistic solution that we're going to have. That water is not outpacing the weight that we consume it. And to really just sum it all up, I think when we do sort of colonize these other planets, our best bet for habitation is going to be some sort of structure like this. It provides, well, you know, I won't get into it, but. <laughs> we have to leave. We have to leave. Oh, <laughs> imagine, a, <laughs> imagine a focus group of dog owners. From... <laughs> so, I mean, I use, I use dogs to get people into my cult, but whatever. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's right. That's, was, so that, oh, that's sick. Because it started like you were saying, like, here's why you should never allow your dog to be exposed to sunlight. You know, yeah, and, then it turned, mm. and then it turned into we need to leave the planet now. <laughs> Like, I don't know. <laughs> it well, certainly was a journey. The sun, right? Other stars are like I, I, elsewhere. <laughs> it certainly things, was a journey. Things. Okay, Flips, thank you so much for that beautiful presentation. Junie, do you have a, 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 a presentation? Well, you do have a hopefully presentation. <laughs> we're, we're actually giving it to you. This is, you by the way, one of my least favorite Jackbox games. <laughs> <laughs> I am so bad at it. This is, okay. I think, my favorite. You ready to do it? Yeah. All right. At this company, we value your fresh nutrient uptake, your fresh intake, your daily meals. Are you feeling lethargic? Are you feeling unmotivated at your desk job? Well, we might have the solution. Purple Soylent, the purple Soylent that we're gonna add, start adding into your daily regimen, your <laughs> schedule, your snack breaks. We're adding squishy frogs, squishy frogs for you to pick up and play with, interact with, squish gently though. <laughs> and at last, oh God, don't know how this one got into the slideshow. You weren't supposed to see that. That was for later. That was for, um, yep. All right, continue, continue drinking that. Don't think about that previous slide. That was going to be for our waste management people later. As you can see, all of that waste is being taken care of very, very confidently. Look at how beautiful the environment is around our company, how much we're thriving. Hi, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your time. All right, little bit of damage control there. That one got a little bit of, got a little meta. Got that a little one bit, wasn't uh, supposed to be in there. That one wasn't supposed that to be really in like there. Nice, that's a sick, sick twist. That's a cool twist. That like, really whoops. quickly turned yeah. into interdimensional cable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at this point, chat, you're going to be voting for who gets the point. Wow, which one of us is penis? <laughs> <laughs> which, which one is penis? I don't know. There's a poll that says penis, guys. <laughs> 
No, I, I Chad is just we, filled with it. I, and I, I believe that, that we have a it. winner, and the winner is the, the winner is 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 simple flips. Flips. They went with you. They went with you. Chad went with your presentation. I like giving presentations. Yay! Good. Good. Yeah, what was the inspiration for that one? Where'd you, you, you dug deep for that? I pretty much knew I was going to say about 50% of you answered the survey and nothing else. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all I got. Well, whatever the f*** you did, worked out, worked well, went great. Do whatever, if we ever do that again, just do that again. Good <laughs> Now, <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, I'll rely on. We that. we are gonna have something slightly different coming up. We're gonna start with you this time, simple flips. All right. Let me explain this one to chat and to the contestants. Okay. Uh, this one this is a little game for streamers like me who kind of really enjoy annoying their chats, pissing them off, and mm -hmm. you know just you know you, you know you're doing something and it's kind of it's kind of grating and it's irritating and they and they tell you next bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the time. That's the name of this mm -hmm. segment. I'm gonna play some really annoying sounds for you guys. <laughs> Oh, and then okay. all three of you are going to take turns trying to imitate the sounds with your mouth. And then chat's going to decide either who came the closest to imitating the sound or just the one that they just enjoyed the most, right? Their favorite, the one that tickled their, their fancy. We're going to start with simple flips. You're going to go first with this. You're going to kind of give the demonstration of what's <clears throat> okay. uh, going to happen. Sadik, would you, would you play our first sound? Like all of a sudden I'd be trying to prove that I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. Um, <laughs> <but it's laughs> okay. So, so I just a word of caution. Discord has a little, a little bit of a hard time with like a lot of volume, and it will like suppress your your oh, audio yeah. if it's like too loud. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, you can't. Well, you want to? What do you mean keep that in mind? Don't Imitate it, but in a way that Discord likes. I think I hit it. I really hope Discord picked that up. That was good. That was it did. Good. It was good. Uh, was it? Cool. Junie, you want? Can we hear you? Can we hear yours? Oh, of this? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's do it. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get like deeper. More. <laughs> I, unfortunately for this one, I have the woman debuff. I can't like get that low. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. That is, I liked it though. I liked it. Thank I you. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Fred, you ready to tackle this? This all one. All right, all right. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> did I come through? Okay. Did he do that? That's yeah, a <laughs> it did. But we are gonna have a vote for this one uh, again. Wisp, if you could set it up, who who did who did it the best? Do we have our poll results? Mm -hmm. It's simple flip. Simple. They loved your it's you're killing simple. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They loved they your love fucking you. your they Joe Rogan. You. Well, we got another sound for you guys mm. to uh, okay. do a little choice or voice or here. Interestingly enough, Chad, I want you to know I conceived of this this segment prior to even playing choice or voice or. Let's see our next sound. Oh my god. Oh. Are you? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> We, of course, want you to imitate Bolegda. Let's start with uh, Juniper. Juniper, uh, give us your best Bolegda. Um, uh, Bolegda. <laughs> that's a good one. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. That's, oh, that's good. That's a good Bolegda. Good, good. Fred, Thank Bolegda? You. you say this like I didn't have this as a vocal stim for months. <laughs> Ooh, we all did, man. We all had that Bolegda face. Mm -hmm. Bolegda. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, too. Uh, Flips, you got a Belegda for us? Belegda. <laughs> <laughs> so matter-of-factly, right? Let's run another poll, uh, guys. Who won? Who who, who had the best Belegda? Looks like, like this one's going to Juni. Chat picked you. How do you Let's feel? Let's go, baby. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty Belegda about it. Feeling Belegda. That's the beautiful real. part of Belegda. It means what you want it to mean. It can mean yeah. anything. It can yeah, mean right anything now, and I'm nothing. Belegda. There's another sound. Static, you want to play the third sound for the beautiful contestants, please? They're so beautiful. Fred, that's you, buddy. All right. I think he's he sounds like he's upset about something. <laughs> you sound like a rusty bike chain, bro. It sounds like a rusty bike chain. What do you want from me? Simple. Give me your angry squirrel, man. Nope. <laughs> 
That's all I got. I, I think you might be. I think maybe Discord was cutting you off a little bit. I mean, maybe you went, you went a little. Yeah, bit. I think so. Wait, yeah, try again. I, it's 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 doing it. Discord's cutting you off. Yeah. Here, turn off me, crisp. Let me maybe disable any do, gate here. Do, do turn you off know, crisp. D no, Discord's don't worry. About, like the gate's not. The not gate's the gate not the issue. The it's it's crisp. Crisp determined your noise was noise. Yeah, always disable crisp. That shit is doo doo. Oh, maybe I can blast it through the uh, VOD ninja. Might deafen all of us horribly. We'll never recover from it, but. <laughs> <laughs> did it work on there? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, but now you're echoing, so you got to turn it off. But that did work. That did work. Man, that's okay, a nice cool. workaround for the future. That was good. The good. Th thanks for letting us. Yeah. That, no, that was. Got the tricks. Really enjoying making people make these really dumb sounds. It's funny to me. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Juni, uh, can I hear your uh, Alice girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's all I got for you. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Chad, who had the best angry squirrel? Fred, thank you, you one point. They picked you. It's your point, bud. Yo! Aw, oh, thank you. Good for Making man. weird Congrats, guttural congrats. noises after my time in a Unfortunately, Fred, it looks, like, it looks like you were right about that being a mating call. And it looks like um, oh. there are a bunch of horny squirrels now gathering at the entrance of our studio. Uh, they oh. heard you. You were, you were a little too good at it. And now we got um, just tons of squirrels trying to get in your claw at the walls. Um, with they're, they're just thirsty for you. What are you gonna? How are you gonna fix no. this, man? What are we gonna do? Mike, they're after my nuts. No, they, were, <laughs> they want your fat nuts. They Quick, heard hide the about nuts. Them. We are in the home stretch. This is the stretch. very, very end of the game right here, guys. It's our final bonus round. You still got simple flips. Still has a chance to come back. Fred, with his four points, could still easily overtake Junie. Right now, Junie, Junie in the lead of five points. I'm a, you guys I'm a tiger. Beautiful. I've got my claws beautiful. in this, baby. In this round, and this is for chat, uh, and this is also uh, for Wispbones, if you are hearing this, we're gonna be doing uh, some similar kind of improv stuff, but the, uh, uh, the, the polls will involve channel points this time around. So remember when I've been telling you guys to save your channel points, this is what it was all for. It's this segment right here. So let's start with this one. It's called hashtag sponsored. Good news streamers, you have each just landed a lucrative sponsorship deal. Uh, and you're gonna make the big bucks, but first, you gotta do a one minute live ad read for a product that you've never heard of before. Uh oh, and you gotta do it right now. And chat's gonna vote for the product they're most likely to buy, of course. It's snake oil. All right, let's start with Simple Flips. Here's the product that you are gonna be selling. Ready? It's called Rock Fantasy. So let's thank get a minute on coming. the clock. Oh, we're, you're good to go. Let's let her rip. Yo, thank you guys, everyone, for coming. I know I'm always chilling this shit for you on Jabroni Mike's stream and that uh, you guys. Anyways, beside the point, I wanna to talk to you about Rock Fantasy, an alternative way to finally experience rhythm gaming. You can finally get both the idle features and the MMO features of your favorite pastime just playing music and getting some points. But not everyone is always going to have the energy required to be proactive and work on the weeklies and bonuses. That's where the fantasy aspect comes from. Because if you can fantasize being rich and giving us a bunch of money, we will automate a lot of those features for you. Now, as you're getting started and you unlock the season pass, you'll see that a couple of those processes are automated for you. You think, I don't even have to play any music at all. And that's kind of the point. A lot of the people stacking up on top of our leaderboards, who we will celebrate every single day, are quite rich in real life. So, if you want to get in on this and try and experience a new type of game, use my link below. That was, that was, Flips. that was good. That was solid. I like how you kind of pitched it like a, like a mobile game almost. <laughs> yeah, you activated <laughs> like my FOMO. Game. That it's was funny, Rock That was good, what the hell? So, our next product is gonna be for Juniper. This one, oh. your product is called Slime Monkey. <laughs> All right, so pitch us Slime Monkey. We got a minute on the clock, go. Hey guys, you know, I sort of hate doing this whole uh, chilling thing, <laughs> you know, like Code Moth Group, all that. Um, but uh, today I was given a really, really special offer 
uh, from Slime Monkey. They are a, a new, it's sort of a Kickstarter. Um, it's sort of like a, like a new, uh, innovative way of approaching sea monkeys. I don't know if any of you guys remember sea monkeys from like the 90s, the uh, like little shrimp guys that you put in water and then they hatch and you can just take care of them and they're just cute little guys. Slime monkey is much like that, but uh, it's a little bit more on the, uh, I would describe it as more on the grotesque side of the spectrum, the large and grotesque. It's sort of one of those things that you put into water and you watch it expand. Uh, anyways, you can implement like payments uh, in order to get like special, like shiny slime monkeys. Like you can get uh, a, like a higher chance of pulling a shiny slime monkey that comes in special mm -hmm. colors. Out of time. But I love the idea of the product. It's almost like gotcha sea monkeys. It's like gotcha sea monkeys. Yeah. Gotcha sea monkeys. I used to love sea monkeys, man. I had sea monkeys. Did you have, you had sea monkeys as a kid? I never had sea monkeys, no. You never had I thought I wanted them. <gasps> Denied no, it's like the one singular of those things pleasure. where I was like, Mom, I want sea monkeys. And then like, nah. I guess we'll, we'll do we'll do Fred's product. Are you ready for your, your product, Fred? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm braced. Your product is pudding tent. Let's get a minute on the clock for Fred. Fred, pitch us the pudding tent. Okay. Now. This down the rabbit hole is brought to you by a sponsorship from Pudding Tent. Fuck Pudding you. Tent is a revolutionary new NFT collection on the Ethereum blockchain. By using patented AI technology, we have generated many different images of tents made of different kinds of pudding. And of course, with AI and our mid-journey integration, we can have our tents be used to create new tents, creating an endless series of NFTs, all which will be attached to your wallet. Pudding tent. Its price will never go down. <laughs> <laughs> so you're done? He's, he's got time left, right? Yeah, I'm good. I, 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 he's I'm done. done. Okay. Fred, what the f***? Why did it... Why was it crypto? Why, why was it... Oh, man. You know so it was going so to be stupid. crypto no matter so what it was, so the thing. He was like, wouldn't it be yeah. funny if I had an yeah. NFT yeah. sponsor down the rabbit hole? Yeah, yeah I'll tell you what. <laughs> with, if, if, with AI, if, like, if chat journey finds gives it, all new NFT possibilities. And if chat finds it as funny as uh, I did, they might just might vote for you, Fred. Let's get another vote going for these, um, these fine products. Chat, remember, which product are you most likely to buy? Is it Fred's pudding tent, Junie's slime monkey, or is it... Simple Flips is rock fantasy. Fred, I mean, like a tent, you know, like, so it's not a tent that you can sleep in. Like, I was thinking, no, I was, you know, it's, it's like a you're, just, this, no, no, These no, tents no, are invested. You don't understand. Oh, I'm All looking right. at the results. All my tents have been stolen. Not is this the game. A si simple <laughs> simple Not Flips the game. you, man. They like the rock hey. fantasy, man. Good shit. Yeah, Good rock fantasy rules. I, Good rock product. Man, I thought I was just talking about it. I was like, man, this game wouldn't be that bad if it had a the couple The 10 market jokes. is crashing. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, That's I'm cool, getting man. investigated by the FTC. I got to run. Fred. That's valid. Oh, man, you guys are so beautiful. Thank you for coming on the show and helping me You're out with beautiful. this. You, you guys are so f***ing awesome for helping me do this. You didn't have to do this. You could have told me to go f*** myself, and you probably should have. I could have. I almost did. <laughs> I could have. No, but I, I, ho did, I hope no. you guys... <laughs> I, no, I hope <laughs> I hope you guys had fun because we're really we're getting real close to uh, to wrapping this up at this point. Our final segment, guys, it's called throwing for content. We're ending right back where we started, contestants, with more trivia. Except this time we want wrong answers only. You're gonna give me the most shit post the answer possible to the questions, and chat will vote for their favorite. And we're gonna start with name the Beatles. Let's start with uh, and and again, I mean. It, 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 you know, we're not looking for the correct answer here. We're looking for the probably the, the dumbest answer that you could conceive of. I think is what Chat's probably going to want to vote for. So let's start with um, let's start with Fred. Fred. Yeah, no, th th there Beatles. are there are five members of the Beatles. Unfortunately, one of them is dead. So now it's just Jeffrey, Beffrey, Neffrey, and Hudge the Unflappable. Hudge. Unflappable? Hodge the Unflappable. Mm -hmm. I want to know what instrument Hodge the Unflappable plays. Oh, they all play bass. <laughs> like the, the, they this all are the bass player. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, all right, Flips, name the Beatles. Uh, four members. I believe mm -hmm. it's Ringo, Django, Bingo, 
and David. Rango, Django, Bingo, and David. Sick. All right. All Dingo right. is the third one. Bingo, oh, Dingo. sounds like a made-up name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> name the Beatles. Well, after the car accident that killed Ringo and splintered the Beatles into two separate groups, uh, the ones that remained in the Beatles were Saddam Hussein and uh, an English college student named Guy. <laughs> <laughs> just no surname, just Guy. Yeah. So Saddam Hussein and Guy. Yeah. Okay, so they, they were they, the, the Beatles. last remaining members. <laughs> But that fractured the band into two bands. So it, one yeah, of them- Yeah, it fractured them. I don't really, I don't remember what happened to the rest of them, but they never made hits again. But Saddam Hussein and Guy, uh, as the new Beatles, like they, uh, they really, I mean, they kept on releasing chart toppers and chart toppers until um, the death of Saddam Hussein. Is that, is that uh, all your questions for me, Mike? Who won? <laughs> Chat, this is your moment. Who had the best answer to the name the Beatles question Junie, they loved yours. They loved fucking Saddam you Hussein know, being I, in the I Beatles. I loved the Beatles too. Yeah. That was fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Miss them. Good. Good. Imagining like Saddam Hussein singing John Lennon's lyrics. Like, <laughs> imagine Saddam Hussein singing Imagine. And just, <laughs> it's really mm -hmm. doing me. In. <laughs> we got another question for you guys. Let's get it up on the board. What is the most farmed animal in the U.S. and why? Let's ask Flips. Probably cats, because it's the only way that we're able to upkeep domestication. Cats? If we don't keep privately farming them, then they're going to eventually realize they're better off without us again. Cats. And we farm yeah. cats. Yeah. Uh, it's so kind we, of an insane conspiracy. Right. What, and, and so you think that there's just dozens and dozens of cat farms, like, across, across America? And they're just churning yeah. out kittens, like, constantly just churning them out? Eventually, they're going to domesticate coyotes as well. Like, they're just going to see... There's also foxes coming around the bend where they're like, this human shit is just a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. The cats were just the first ones to... I guess dogs, too, maybe. They figured it out first. They were like, this is a good deal. But thank you. So answer, your answer is cats. Junie, what's the most domesticated animal in the U.S. and, and why? Well, the most farmed animal in the U.S. Uh, is spiders. Spiders. Because, spiders. Uh, yeah, it's spiders. Uh, because every single person uh, in the U.S. has to eat... <laughs> 10,000 spiders a year during their sleep. What happens if I only eat 9,999? Okay, so 10,000 is really just more of like a, a ballpark, like estimate. Um, okay. But each person eats about 10,000 spiders a year in their sleep. Okay, so if I and only eat And that's why we have to farm spiders, yeah. Just to keep, to, to keep the, the sleeping public fed, making Pretty sure much, they're getting yeah. their, their yearly. What what are yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, symptoms of, of, mm -hmm. of like a spider uh, deficiency? What, what could happen to somebody? Uh, oh, you know, it's just spiders? like, you know, like it's things that would normally come from like a calorie deficiency, like lethargy, um, headaches, um, mm -hmm. sleeping too long or too much. If you have any of those things, uh, you just probably aren't eating enough spiders in your sleep. Any, any risk associated with eating too much, too many spiders? Well, obesity, probably. <laughs> hey, Fred. Yes. Uh, what is the most farmed animal in the U.S. and why, man? Mike, I am frankly flabbergasted that you had to come to me for the answer to this because you should know full well, being one yourself, that the most farmed animal is a lol cow Friends. in the U.S. Oof. Piece of poop. He's How still salty that I didn't. He's salty. I didn't give him the point for that earlier. You. F Poop man, you poopy poopy man. Big poopy low frame rate piece of poop. Oh my god. You know what? I take back all the saliva that I that I placed on the side of your face. I'm taking that I'm taking all my saliva back now. Give me I'm scraping yeah, that yeah. dried saliva off, putting it back in my pocket. Cause that's mine. Yeah, no. You didn't deserve any of it. No, you all know right, you're so, you're going to need it if you're if you're gonna be milked to keep to produce the energy. So here's the thing. Everyone's like, oh, you milk a lol cow, but no one ever asks how you milk them. Like, what are you milking them for? Yeah, you milk, milk them for the energy that is required to keep social media platforms going, right? Like oh as God. social media platforms degrade, they need more and more energy, which means that they are going to need a better and better energy source. And w you get that energy source by milking the lol cows. That's why you're getting so like, many on mainstream social media platforms. How else are they like, going to keep going? It's like Monsters, Inc. Right, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lol cows, Inc. Oh, okay, man, mm -hmm. I feel like there's a... F 
real social commentary in this answer? See, there, there is, Chat there is. I, I actually am very opinionated about this. It, it is very annoying how like it, it, it keeps going. Fred, he, he uh, you know, he said it's the most farmed animals, lol cows, and he, you know, took a dig at me. That's always fun. So cast your votes, guys. Time for democracy. Who had the best answer to this? What is the most farmed animal in the U.S.? Whose answer did you enjoy the most? Seen a lot of Joomfees out there. I love the Joomfees, bro. They got me. We appreciate, no, we appreciate the Joomfees. Joomfees, thank you so much for coming tonight. I don't know what tonight. I'm saying. The Joomfees don't got me. <laughs> <laughs> if the Joofies the Joofies want to deplatform me is what they want. <laughs> nah, they love you. <laughs> they might be wanting to fuck with you a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. They got the power right now, but in this case, unfortunately, Junie, they are giving it to Fred. Mm. They liked yours, man. They liked mm -hmm. your answer, man. They liked they that shit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They liked his little well, social commentary good. down the rabbit hole mm -hmm. type of you cerebral mm -hmm. bullshit answer that, that he gave. They liked it. They liked it. I am at my mm. best when I'm being insufferable. We got our last question of the entire game right now. This is very exciting. <laughs> Fred's at five points. Flip's at four points. Junie's at six. Junie, I think you're going to take this thing. What is Maybe. this called? And what does it do? All right, let's have Junie go first. What, what, is, what is that thing? And what does it do? Okay, so you know how there's a little snail in your ear that goes Are you like really, are you old? Like, do you hear that? Yeah, yeah I got okay, the tonight. So that, that, that's the, yeah, that, yeah, you got the tinnitus. That's because there's a little curled uh, bone structure inside of your ear that go, that, that's, that's like the snail in your ear and it's making a screaming noise. So that's uh, what that's, that thing is. That, well, yeah, that's like a, it's uh, essentially, this is like an oversized model of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can see they've, they've actually removed the snail itself. Like they, they didn't model the snail. They're just modeling the structure that the snail lives in. It would be like ridiculous for them to also have a giant snail in the thing, obviously. So you're saying there's a little there snail in my snail. ear in my ear right yeah, now. Yeah, there's a little snail in your ear and it's going- Get him out! Get him out! If it, hear, if it hears him something out! too loud, it gets, yeah, it gets like scared, you know, and it screams. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome answer. Yep. Fred, what is that thing and, and, and what does it do? I'm afraid the Junie's wrong about this one, unfortunately. Oh. Um, right. you, were, you, were, you were in the right ballpark, Junie, about this being acoustic in nature, but this is actually something that is used for astrophysics. Now, most of us think of conch shells, right? You, you put a conch shell up to your ear, right? And then you can hear the ocean no matter where you are. Well, you can do this with any kind of shell and testing has borne out that Nautilus style shells like this can be used as well and in fact are even better for performing this. Now, when astrophysicists and um, and people, you know, studying outer space wanted to learn about Titan, the moon uh, that is suspected to have, you know, huge oceans, right? Yeah. Well, you can't just use a normal shell if you want to hear the ocean on another planet. So they made a very large shell that when you put your ear to it, you would be able to hear oceans not only on our planet, but oceans on other planets and other moons. So it's a device that allows you to listen to the oceans of methane on Saturn's moon Titan. Yeah, um, though example. they were eventually phased out when they took Simple Flips' advice and started putting dogs into rockets and launching them. <laughs> yeah, I want to interrupt That here. took over afterward. Good, st good stuff. Let's ask, uh, let's ask <laughs> Flips. Flips, what is this thing? What does it do? Oh, of course. Um, right, we're looking at a photo from 1850. Not necessarily the very first build, but the very first functional build of being able to integrate uh, lung capacity and the human. Now, these have gotten a lot smaller over time, but actually in 1850s, there was not really any board of ethics or commu or like uh, morals. The, the person inside the center of that did not even want to participate in the assisted breathing program. Now, with that said, they did find a lot of success and thank God that they were doing it back then because there's no way we would have ever been able to advance to this level of science in the current modern era. In short, that is essentially allowing that man to breathe. He is pretty unhappy about his participation in the experiment, but he did become a lawyer during his time at the facility. He was able to study law and still make an impact on his community. That, how long was he in there? He's still in there. Well, I mean, he died, but <laughs> he, he they died never in moved there? the unit. Yeah. <laughs> He's so, still he, in there. It is like back then they had no <laughs> oh, God. Like they're they could just do any testing they wanted back then, so they weren't really concerned with the long term whether or not that guy would ever do anything again. He still studied that, law. That is 
Dark Man. All right, well there you go. So guys, here's the, the options. It's a it's a f a thing for listening to space. It's a f very bizarre iron lung early uh, prototype for an iron lung that turns you into a lawyer. And finally, uh, <laughs> it is uh, what was uh, her her. Oh, oh, it, it's, it's an yeah, anatomical it's like an model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of 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 a. F the, the tiny model. snail who lives inside your ear causing you tinnitus. That's mm -hmm. how that works. That's how tinnitus works. So let's get a vote going, a poll. Let's have a poll for who's getting the final point of the game. And guys, in the event of a tiebreaker, well, who do you think's gonna break it? You are, chat. She hates us. Oh, Junie, they're saying that you, you hate them? Why do I hate them? What oh, do you I mean? I don't think you hate them. Ah, oh, well, they might what hate you <laughs> because we're giving the point to Simple Flips. <laughs> Simple flips. Oh, yay. They like I should have threw. Whatever the fuck. Well, you did. You threw the best. That's why you got the point. <laughs> I should have threw the worst. Good so shit. Fred could have tied. Nah, you threw the best you could. We have a winner. The winner is Juniper. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. it's an honor. It's an honor. I'm, the just, I'm just so happy to be here. They showed up for you. They showed They they showed up. They, they came out show up. to support their f Oh, she and holy shit, she's taking it home. I love those freaking guys. All this, all this is going to the orphans. That's all what I of said. This, all this, I stand nothing. by my words. All, all this, nothing. You know, there's no prize, right? Did you think you were? Yeah, it's just the money you paid us for showing up that we all got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that money. Um. He's such a. He's such a. There's no money. There's no, that's, that's funny. I feel like winning this is. It's less a prize and more so a smear, like on your legacy. You think? So? Well, okay, kicks kicks a f rock. <laughs> we're gonna try to have. We're gonna try to have prizes in the future. A rock fantasy. We're gonna try to have. We're gonna try to set that. Ooh. We're gonna try to set that up in the future. Mm. We're gonna try to. Yeah, we're gonna try to have prizes la la. going forward. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we could do. We're gonna see how far we can take this. We're gonna see even if we could get some sponsors for this and stuff like that. So I'm happy we're able to, to be get... here and take your virginity. Thank you very I, much. I am really so grateful to the three of you. Thank you so much for coming out here and doing this with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. We are gonna do this more, hopefully in the future. Hopefully we can get rid of some of the scuff. Hopefully we can get rid, rid of the fact that you can see through half my head, which I did notice. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this. Really, again, I poured my heart and soul and my whole, my it whole ass. It was a good ass. run, bro. It was a good run, yeah. I poured my whole ass into this thing for like the past four months. So it really means a lot that you guys were able to come out and help me just christen the voyage. Fred, mm. simple. Junie, thank you so much, guys. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for having us oh, on. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, very cool. Guys, here's what you guys got to do. Chat, please go follow their Twitch channels. They're on YouTube and stuff too. Wahoo! Right? You guys are on YouTube. We know Flips is on YouTube. Obviously, Fred's did the rabbit hole thing, right? And Junie's on, on YouTube, right, Junie? Uh, <laughs> into some capacity. What? To some capacity. Yeah, there you have in it. In a way, folks. I guess. <laughs> of course, there's me as well, your beautiful host. Brony underscore Mike. And then uh, we have, of course, the Discord server. Please join the Discord server because the Discord server is where we do all the organizing for this shit. This is where we do the f family feud polls. This is where we come up with the uh, the other Just there's we're doing all sorts of stuff in there. So just come on in the Discord server. You're gonna you're gonna love it. You're gonna have just such a great time in there. I, I really just I wanted to take a second to thank you guys and i mean chat thank you so much for being here and watching i hope you enjoyed uh if anybody subbed resubbed get obviously i'm not looking to chat during this fucking shit but if you supported the channel thank you very much i really appreciate that of course this is again the type of thing that you're funding so hopefully you like this because this is kind of what i got so you know hopefully it's good i don't know go well but thank you for watching supporting thank you to the people who participated in the polls uh thank you to the people in the discord who helped out with the, you know, the making of the show thank you to the mods everybody thank you to craig of course and and the other um and static for helping out static is doing so much heavy lifting for this this thing it's not even funny i think uh that's gonna do it for the show that's a wrap. i think that's a wrap have a beautiful rest of your weekend guys bye bye